Hey guys, this is Brennan with Aim High Comics, and I'm like super excited today. I got a lot going on. Uh, but my comic book shop, one of them had a uh, summer sale, and I've been wanting to just go through and just take all the Del Auto covers because I'm a huge fan of Del Auto. He's my favorite um, cover artist, modern day comic art, modern day comic artist. Uh, he does painted covers, but I'm just going to show you my uh, Del Auto haul. It's a uh, somewhat sizable um, but hopefully um, if there's any Dell Auto fans out there uh, there is a checklist just type in Dell Auto checklist and there's a website that has a checklist of all his covers uh, and maybe you didn't know about some of these so you can go hit up your local comic shop when they have a sale and maybe get some of these some of these were really cheap just before the sale anyways I should have just gotten them but here's the uh, first one I got is the Invincible Iron Man number four Variant edition. Sweet, sweet painted cover. Uh, then I've got the Avengers Annual, number one. Another sweet painted cover there. Uh, next one. Uh, I'm not in the G.I. Joe comic books, but... It's a Del Auto cover, so I gotta get it. Uh, G.I. Joe number one. And this is a wraparound cover. Let me see if I can take it off for just a second. I actually like the, the back of it, it was kind of cool. Make sure I get the whole thing in here. So here's the back of it. If I can get it in the shot here. You see, that is badass. If I do say so myself. And I think he had two covers for the number one. I think the other one was maybe a second printing. Um, they didn't have that. Uh, next one, this was a, marked as a variant in their one of their vintage boxes. It's probably been sitting there for a while, but this is uh, Thor 600. Awesome, awesome cover. I think I might have remember seeing someone show this off at one point. Maybe Don, maybe Don the comic book junkie did. But uh, it was on the checklist and it was there, so I got it. Pretty awesome, very detailed. All right, uh, next I got uh, some Moon Knight stuff, a couple of Moon Knights. Uh, Moon Knight 29. Moon Knight 30. This one's really cool. And then I have um, Ultimate X-Men issue 97. March on Ultimatum. I'm not familiar with it. I think this is early, early Del Auto stuff. I think it was maybe 2000 or 2001 when this came out. Uh, it's got Wolverine on the front. I may have seen this one too. Hoover was showing off Del Auto covers. Really cool though. Uh, and then I got to some stuff I've never, actually never heard of. It's called Fear... Fear Itself. Hulk versus Dracula. Uh, pretty cool. I hate the... There's a big bar on the top of it. I wish, you know, it would cover up the whole thing, but still get some sweet Del Auto uh, painted cover here. Really cool. And that's an interesting concept, the Hulk versus Dracula. <clears throat> and here's, um, see that was number one. And this was number two. They didn't have number three. I'm wondering if number three was like really good or something, so people bought it out, or I, I don't know. But I'm gonna try to find number three, probably online or something. But here's number two. Another sweet Del Auto cover. Um, that's kind of the haul just for today for the for the set. I got every Del Auto cover they had. Um, watch cheap. I know Del Auto stuff keeps getting more and more popular. Um, I was on Del Auto before the Harley Quinn stuff came out, well before that. 
uh, I was buying all the uh, the bulletproof comics uh, exclusives, and uh, there's actually if you're if you're a Del Auto fan, go in Midtown Comics and go to their back issue, back issues, and there's actually still some Del Auto stuff on there from earlier. Um, just tap, just go to Midtown Comics and go to the search bar and type in Del Auto. And it'll pull up all the back issues of with the Del Auto in them. And he's actually uh, coming out with some new covers. Um, Dan Slott actually posted uh, the covers on his Twitter. Uh, the Clone Conspiracy that's coming out. He's doing a few covers. I think regular covers, actually. Usually he's doing variant covers. I think what happened was um, they saw that the Harley Quinn... Uh, variant did so well that Marvel probably just threw a ton of money at him and said please do you know our covers and a lot of his best work is on Spider-Man stuff that he did earlier in his career so um, I hope you know if you didn't know about Del Auto or want a Del Auto fan I hope this kind of helped you gear towards that um, I like painted covers better to um, so Alex Ross uh, Bill Sikowitz, say his name correctly, but a um, great, great artist, and hopefully he'll make it to the States again at some point and load up on some signatures because he is, he's, he's probably my favorite modern artist, him and um, Alex Ross and uh, J. Scott Campbell. There's a few other guys, but um, until next time. This is Brown with Ain't Hot Comics, and see you next time.